if we told you that these robots are being controlled from space, 400 kilometers above Earth? From the International Space Station, NASA astronaut Johnny Kim is guiding a team of robots here on the ground. This is all part of an experiment called Surface Avatar, a collaboration between ESA and the German Aerospace Center, DLR. Its goal? To explore how astronauts can command robotic teams from space, giving us the tools to one day explore the Moon and Mars together. The first part of the experiment involved retrieving sample containers scattered across a simulated Martian landscape built at DLR's facilities in Germany. ESA's four-legged robot, Spot, navigated the terrain autonomously, locating and collecting the samples. At a handover station, Johnny took over, supervising DLR's humanoid robot, Roland Justin, by selecting and combining high-level commands from a predefined set. He guided Justin through the steps needed to transfer the samples to a lander. In this kind of scenarios, we can control the robots uh, as our avatars, either remote operated, autonomous commands to execute certain tasks. Next came a simulated cave exploration. ESA's Interact rover transported a smaller robot dog, Bert, to the cave entrance. A boulder blocked the way. Johnny used Interact's robotic arm to remove the obstacle and place Bert on the ground. But things didn't go smoothly on purpose. In a simulated malfunction, Bert detected one of its legs was damaged. Johnny had to retrain the robot dog's walking algorithm in real time before it could continue into the cave. I think that obstacle is moved sufficiently for Bert to get in. Once fixed, Bert entered the cave and detected signs of ice, like we might find on Mars. These challenges are designed to test how astronauts respond when things don't go as planned. What was really important there is that the robot, they, it can still make mistakes during this uh, complex task, because it has to collect sample tubes, uh, bring it somewhere else, navigate, and to make this uh, entire task autonomous, it's really important that it can also recover from its own failures and that it then can retry again. Behind the scenes, the team worked to ensure stable and secure communication between the robots on Earth and Johnny on the ISS. To really grab a big portion of the rock, so I gotta be strategic about what part of the rock I'm gonna grab. The surface avatar experiment has advanced how humans and robots interact. We've made so many advances together from working with a single robot, working with simpler modalities of commanding robots, to having much more complex robotic teams as you can see here. And now of course the robots and the astronaut are separated by an orbiting spacecraft, but if you imagine in the future the astronaut and the robot could actually go hand in hand and explore together almost like a, a shepherd with its dog so the astronaut could give voice commands. So we think through all of the scenarios and think that indeed human and robots do well to explore together.